Hey everyone, Craig here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Game Boy Camera and the Game Boy Printer. A great set of products released by Nintendo in 1998 for uh, the Game Boy. Now the Game Boy Camera was a very simple digital camera. And it actually, in 1999, held the Guinness Book of World Records uh, record for uh, world's smallest digital camera. I mean, obviously that record has been shattered by now. But that's pretty cool. Now... This could take pictures using the Game Boy's very limited, like, four shades of gray palette. Very grainy, very distorted, but uh, very cool. I mean, this came out in an era where, um, well, uh, most people didn't have digital cameras. And I don't even think camera phones even existed. So this is really cool. And you could take pictures and manipulate them with the uh, built-in software. We'll get to that a little bit later. And then print them out using the printer. Now, most cameras came in... Uh, very simple colors like this, yellow, red, green, blue. I have right here the limited edition uh, Ocarina of Time version. You can only get this by mailing away to Nintendo. And um, it not only varies in color, but it also has some built-in Ocarina of Time uh, elements in the software, which is, which is kind of neat. This is a nice little rarity. And we take a look at it here. It's a little bit bigger than a normal cartridge. In fact, I should have a normal cartridge right here. Rocky and Bullwinkle, that's right folks, Rocky and Bullwinkle. And obviously it's like the same thickness, because it's got to fit in there. That gives you a general idea of how big it is. And the camera head could rotate so that when it was connected inside your Game Boy, you could take some self-portraits or take pictures of, you know, other subject matter, which was kind of cool. Now, the Game Boy Printer, and this is the box the Game Boy Printer came in. I don't have a Game Boy Camera box, but it's a, it's a very similar box. It's all business. Uh, instead of having fun colors, it's this sterile gray. I do believe there was a limited Pikachu edition, but uh, other than that, they came in this very, very business-like gray. It looks like a you know receipt that you would have at a point of sale. And look at the bottom here. Here's your battery cover. This thing, this thing is a monster. It takes six batteries. Now, it's a Nintendo product, so I'm sure they last a while, but still, it's a lot of fucking batteries. Um, you have your power here. You have your feed button here. You have your uh, paper here. It goes right in there. And then, on the side, you have your external port connector. Because this connected to the Game Boy using the link cable. There you go. Now keep in mind that the Game Boy printer does use these smaller external port connectors that the Game Boy Pocket and the Game Boy Color use. The uh, bigger Game Boys have these bigger external port connectors. So you want uh, one of these smaller link cables. Of course you can connect it to a Game Boy, an old, an old school Game Boy if you have one of these adapters from the Universal Link Cable set. Right there, all right. This is the box the paper came in. This is what they look like, little little rolls of paper here. And this is, these are actually stickers, and they peel off. And this is thermal paper, there's no ink in here. This is, this is uh, thermal, it heat transfers onto there. Most receipts nowadays, movie tickets, stuff like that, they are also thermal paper. All right, so let's take a quick look at some of the software in the Game Boy Camera. All right, so the Game Boy Camera software was developed by Creatures Inc. and Game Freak, the same folks behind Pokemon. And this has to be one of the weirdest pieces of software Nintendo's ever put out. You can tell uh, with the weird graphics and the music and the menus in here and the different Easter eggs like controlling Mario's speed on the title screen by pressing up or down on the D-pad. Now here's the main menu. You have shoot, view, and play. Play, there's there's uh, some basic uh, mini games here. Um, they're not terribly exciting. We won't really get into those right now. Now if you press start, you bring up like a sort of like an options screen, high score, record, credits, stuff like that. 
Uh, if you press select, you open up the camera like a backpack, and there's a few more options in here to uh, screw around with your photos. And for now, let's go over to shoot. Okay, tons of stuff in here. Um, under items, you got self timer, time lapse, pretty cool. And then under magic, you have even more junk under magic, trick lenses, montage, uh, panorama, game face, you put your, your own face in the little mini games here, which is kind of neat. this weird one called run I don't like what the fuck is this I don't know this is what I mean by like this is the weirdest piece of software Nintendo's ever put out or at least one of them that's for goddamn sure go over to shoot uh, it's plugged into my Game Boy Player my GameCube so it's pointed at the ceiling hey everyone it's me it's Craig what's up I go over to album now in in the album you can save up to 30 photos on the camera and um, I got a few of them here, I'll show you. Uh, this is one of our cats, Goober. And as I said, these are really ugly pictures. Uh, the uh, the printer, it's really grainy. Um, there's only f four colors. I mean, that's the original game only have four shades of gray, so they don't look terribly great. Xbox 360 control. And these are with moderate indoor lighting here. I'll take a look at Goober. Now, there's, there are different things you can do uh, with the software. You can check it out here. Delete it. Add a, uh, change the frame, add a comment, uh, you can doodle right on top of the picture, add stamps, or, you know, print it. So right now we'll check out some of the stamps here, and there's a, there's a wide variety of junk you can put onto the picture, which is which is kind of neat, and you can customize different pictures and stuff here. We'll, uh, we'll put some cat ears on the cat, how's that sound? There we go. And this is the Ocarina of Time version of the camera. So there's some, there are some Zelda-themed stamps in here and backgrounds and stuff, which is kind of neat. We'll put some Helian eyes on the cat. That looks good. Duh. Put a fairy. Hey, listen! Listen! Hey! Look! Alright, never mind. Some other Zelda themed stamps here. Some letters and numbers and stuff. And I was surprised to see this. There's actually kanji in here, which I thought was really cool. And uh, I guess we'll just give her the kanji for four because she's four years old. Although I think she might be five. Who? I don't, I don't know. It's my fiance's cat. I don't know how old she is. So there you go. That's a. Uh, that's how you edit a picture. And I didn't save it because it looked retarded. And uh, here's a picture of me that I pre zeldified for your enjoyment. Oh, God, I look terrible. I look like Shrek. Damn. And uh, we'll just print this out as a test. Alright, and there you go. This is what you get. These little one, one inch by one inch squares. This is very difficult to see. Uh, I'm not sure if my printer's going or if the paper's bad or what. Um, my, my printer is not printing out so well. But you get these little these little pictures and you can peel them off the paper and stick them onto stuff. So there you go. The Game Boy camera and the Game Boy printer. Now, obviously, uh, <laughs> the, uh, on a functional level, these are not very useful today. Uh, I mean, any given cell phone has better photo taking capabilities than the Game Boy Camera. But, you know, as a, as, as a set of collectibles, these are great and they're super inexpensive. These are really inexpensive to get on eBay. And I'm sure if you go to like a flea market or something like that, they're even cheaper. And believe it or not, the paper, um, uh, even all packaged up, is super cheap on eBay and easy to come by. There must be like loads of extra paper that people didn't buy back in the late 90s. So all this stuff is really easy to come by, really inexpensive and I highly recommend it.